Chris, the three men who were rescued today were very grateful that their fishing trip did not end in tragedy. Now, this part of Buzzards Bay, especially near the Cape Cod Canal, can be tricky for even experienced boaters. Hours after it capsized in Buzzards Bay, a boat was towed back to the state boat ramp in Wareham. The fishermen on board were grateful to be alive and still wearing their hospital scrubs to get their boat back. They did not want to talk on camera, but told investigators they were overcome by a wave. This is a picture of their boat underwater from the Wareham Department of Natural Resources. The fire department received the call around 3 Sunday afternoon that the four people who were on this boat were in the water. In the dense fog, crews struggled to find it. If you're out in, the, out in that body of water, it's so large, you're not exactly sure where it is till you get out there. They were able to get GPS coordinates from the call and several agencies sent rescue boats. And the sea conditions were, were rough too. So it, it, it was a challenging situation just for us in general. One person was able to get onto another boat. Firefighters rescued the three others and took them to the state boat ramp where ambulances were waiting. They showed signs of hypothermia and were taken to Toby Hospital. And the water temperatures are cold. It's been a cold season. The boat was on the western end of the Cape Cod Canal, the same general area that a boat capsized last July, sending 11 people into the water, including an 8-year-old boy that later died. I mean, anybody that's been around Buzzards Bay knows that the conditions can change in a very short amount of time. And uh, always make sure you have your life jackets on board and you're wearing them. Now, all three men will be home recovering tonight. They were released from the hospital earlier this evening. As you saw, several agencies were involved in this rescue today. Environmental police are investigating. Reporting live in Wareham, Alicia Rodriguez, Boston 25 News.